Hello, and welcome to a very different video than I usually make, but one that I am really, really excited for. So you know this, I am a YouTuber, I am a streamer, I make things, and I have a bunch of different cameras that have a bunch of different uses. One of those cameras being the Sony ZV-1, which is right here. It's this nice little point and shoot style camera. It's got a flip out screen, it's 4K, which is really nice. And I got this for my streams to use as a little doggy cam. I mounted it under my desk, pointed it at the dog bed, and that's what I used it for. But when I got it, there was one thing about it that I didn't like, and that is this right here. The lens. The lens is fine, but it's built into the camera, and I have a bunch of different lenses, and a lot of different lenses give you different looks and different feels, and so I don't like being locked in to something like this. And so I was like, I wish they had this, but with an interchangeable lens system. And so Sony did that. <laughs> this is the Sony ZV-E10, the newest line in the ZV family. And this little camera packs a whole lot of punch. So before we get into it, I do wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Sony which is wild. I'm such a Sony fanboy. I have so many Sony cameras. I've always loved Sony cameras. So this is kind of crazy that Sony is sponsoring this video. Full transparency, they are sponsoring. The opinions are my own, but I am being compensated to make this video. So keep that in mind. This isn't really gonna be a review, mostly just like a first impressions kind of thing and what I would use this camera for and what I will be using this camera for. But Sony was kind enough to not only send me one of these, but to send me another one to give away to one of you. So if you'd like to enter to win a chance to get a Sony EV-10, uh, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this camera and maybe why you should win it. So who is this camera made for? Me and maybe you. <laughs> this is very much like a content creator camera. It is an APS-C style 4K camera. It has the flip out screen, which we love. It's got a good mic up top. If you can see that, there you go, mic up top. It's got the interchangeable lens system, so you can go from something as small as this 16 to 55? 16 to 50 lens, which is a lens that is included in a package. You can get a body only, or you can get it with a lens. So you can go with something as small as this, or you can go as small as this. Yeah, there's so much versatility in this camera and I love it. And Sony really kept creators in mind when making this camera. So not only does it have the flip out screen, you can change out your lenses, but also just the way that they laid out the camera, I really, really love. They've got the on off switch up here, which I really like. In the past, they've put the on off button up here where this zoom toggle is. So you just flip it on. I like the switch a lot better. And my favorite thing <laughs> is the giant record button. There's been a lot of times in the past where I've gone to shoot something and I accidentally hit a different button or I just fumble around, can't really find the record button because it's a smaller button on like the back of the camera. This is the biggest button on the camera. It's very prominent. You know exactly where it is. You can feel around for it. It's great. And speaking on recording things, it also has a tally light, which I love. There's a tally light on the LCD screen, big red light, you know when you're recording, but also there's a physical light on the camera that turns on and off when you're recording, which is awesome. So obviously if you're filming yourself, you can see it on the LCD screen, but you can also see it if you don't have the screen flipped towards you, you can see it in the little light. So much more helpful than you think. You have no idea how many times I've thought I was recording, wasn't recording at all. So that's huge and I love that. They've also added some really cool features on this too. Uh, a lot of features that are great for a beginner and that's something that I think this camera really caters towards is this is, this is like the I'll say it. This is like the perfect first camera. Again, I know Sony's sponsoring this. They didn't tell me to say that. This is me, Ethan Nestor, saying that because I genuinely feel that way. If this camera was out when I started making videos, 
it would have been such a game changer. There's so many helpful features for people who aren't as familiar with cameras. It's super easy to navigate. The menu system is easy. The features are easy and not confusing. It's a very intuitive camera. Something that I think is really cool too and really helpful for like running gun type stuff when you're just trying to make something is two buttons that they have on the camera. One of them is here, the other one is here. So what do these two features do? One of them is the product showcase button. So there's a lot of times when you're filming something and you wanna put something in front of the camera like this, but sometimes the focus, the autofocus will switch back and forth between the object in front of you and the face because a lot of times you have face detection on, that's kind of the best autofocus or eye autofocus. Sometimes it's annoying because you do this and it doesn't really focus or you do this and it wants to focus on your face more than the actual thing that you're holding up. And so they put a product showcase button. Also another feature, which is the other button is a, I can't remember what it's called. What is it called, Ethan? Ah, uh, that's what it's called. It's basically a button that just blurs the background. Everybody sort of wants that blurry background look. So it's just one button and it just opens up the aperture. So you can either use that if you just want to save time, you just want it to be at a click of a button or for a beginner who may not know how to mess with the aperture and what is a good aperture to put the camera at to get that blurry background, this just fixes it. The other thing that is really cool about this camera from a streaming perspective is that instead of using a bunch of capture cards to get the image from this camera, so that's what I normally do. So what I usually do is take my camera, put HDMI in there, take the HDMI, go into the capture card and capture card into the PC, the PC streams it to the world, yay. Sony has removed like basically all of the steps, just one step now. It's just through USB-C somehow. <laughs> you can just stream straight from USB-C to your computer without a capture card, which is huge especially for beginning content creators because capture cards are expensive. They're like 150, 200 bucks sometimes, depending on what you're getting. So that's huge. It's just another expense that they've just erased to make it easier for you to make the content that you wanna make. I feel like this is such a good camera, especially streaming wise for somebody that's in a small space. It's a small camera. You don't need a ton of stuff. You take this, you put USB-C straight to your computer. You don't need any other capture cards, nothing. You just pop it on a tripod, you're ready to go. Not to mention it's a Sony. So while having more light is really good, Sony's low light is, is very good. They're basically at the top of the game when it comes to low light stuff with cameras. You can get a great image out of this with very little light, honestly. So I'm gonna stop talking your ear off in a minute and I'll show you some actual footage. Uh, but I just think this camera has a lot of potential. I was very surprised by this. I was very surprised by what this camera could do after messing around with it for a few days. It's just a, it's a little workhorse. It's so versatile, you know, again, going from something as small as this to putting on a ton of different lenses. You can put on a bunch of different accessories and stuff like that. Uh, or you can strip it down to the bare minimum. And by bare minimum, meaning like smallest lens, no capture card, be ready to stream, you're good. You don't even need lights, says Sony. But after using it for the past few days, I'm, I like this camera a lot. Like, I think I will definitely use this in my streams, whether it's for a Spencer cam or honestly, it could replace my normal face cam. Like it's, it's very good. Definitely a great camera for traveling. I'm just very, very excited about the camera. I think that it's a great thing for beginners. Um, I would highly recommend this camera to anybody, honestly, it's great. For people who know what they're doing, it's a, it could be a great B-cam or just something to get random B-roll behind the scenes, whatever you want. Uh, and a fantastic camera for beginners. Anyway, I'm going to let you see some footage now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, gigantic thank you to Sony for having me make this video. Uh, and again, if you want a chance to win one of these cameras, it also comes in white, which is pretty sick. I don't have the white one. I just, I have the black one, but the white one looks pretty cool, honestly. You can enter to do so. Just leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the camera. Let me know why you should win it. Without further ado, let's take a look at some footage.